Hello, how are you guys doing? All right, I thought you would get a kick out of this. So I'm actually cooking right now. <laughs> you guys wanna see? I'm making pasta and I'm getting ready to heat up the pasta sauce. Um, I'm gonna put it on here for 45 seconds and so we'll try that. I'm recreating a Trisha Paytas um, mukbang because, and I've said this the last couple days, but tomorrow I'm starting my diet. So this is gonna be like the last mukbang that I ever do. I have my plate sitting right here. Oh, actually, I need to get a bowl, not a plate. So I have the plate and the bowl. These are from Crate and Barrel. And then I also have these niblet corn and butter sauce. This is not a healthy meal, so don't come for me. I'm literally copying her exact same meal that she did. And then Newman's own fire roasted tomato and garlic. And then I'm also, I have a LaCroix, because she, oh, I put it in the freezer, I forgot to take it out, okay. And a Reese's peanut butter cup, because that's what she eats in the video, okay. So, ooh, that sauce is perfection. Oh my gosh, look who it is. He said, Dad. I hear somebody cooking in the kitchen. Someone's in the kitchen with PB. Someone's in the kitchen. I know, I know, I know. What is it? What do you want? What do you want? You want a treat? You want a treat? Speak, PB, speak. 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 Okay, we'll get you a treat. <laughs> Give him a little treat, boy. You guys to see, you guys to, <laughs> you guys to, you guys see, I'm like cutting these in half now. Seems to like um, the swimming pool video that I did yesterday. Here, I wanna show you something really quick. First of all, cleaned off my table on the counter and look at our patio, they painted it. I'm not really sure what I think. I tried to tell them that I wanted it that same color over there, but they're like, no, it'll look much better if we paint it. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't really know if I love it. Here's my new camera set up to film on. I filmed on it earlier for the first part of my mukbang. So, okay. Calendar. Can you guys even believe I'm cooking? I mean, like, this is some serious... Peter Mon vlogging here, okay? Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know, I know. Oh, you didn't like that tree? Why not? Okay, we'll throw it out. You didn't want that tree. Well, your brothers would have eaten it. Okay. There's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all this. So here's my pasta. Oh no! Well, good thing I just cleaned off the counter so that I can uh, put this right back on their plate. Oh my gosh, PP. He said, Dad, I love pasta though. If it falls on the floor, I'll eat it, no. I literally, too, just cleaned the kitchen counter, so that is, I'm so happy that, that I had, because if not, I was gonna have to make the whole thing over again. Okay, and then, make these corn niblets. Remove pouch, place pouch on microwavable plate, cut small slit in center, microwave on high, I need my reading glasses. Microwave on high, according, I never know what wattage we have. Turn on high, four and a half to five minutes, my lord. Pee Pee, we need a microwave safe plate. Do you have one? Pee Pee, do you have one? He said, I have one, Dad. I have one. <laughs> okay. Today has been a good day so far. Small slit. I slid a sheet of sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I slit. Okay. Today has been a really good day so far. Um, I've gotten a lot done. 
and I went and got my coffee. And then I went to Meyer, and I bought, now, when I say the Meyer brand, okay, the, the store is Meyer, M-I-J-E-R. This brand is completely different, but I bought this Meyer's Clean Day Bluebell hand soap, which is my favorite. And then I had never tried this before because their cleaning products, to be really honest with you, are very, very expensive. But I got the Meyer Clean Day Lavender Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner, and it is fantastic, you guys. And it leaves your kitchen smelling so clean and so fresh. So yeah, I'm completely obsessed with that. And I think it's like four o'clock. I ran a bunch of errands. It's 4.30. So I'm making my videos. Alex is work, working until like seven or eight. And then he is going over to his mom's house to, uh, oh shoot. I got, somebody sent me handmade candles and they're in the car. He is going to uh, take a bunch of clothes over there to his mom like that he doesn't want anymore. Pass that to the family, I guess. I just went to Meyer and they had all of these t-shirts on sale. They had, and I love this Edward and Ash, Edgar and Ash. I love the bottoms of them. Do you see? They're kind of curved. But these are like t-shirts, but they're like nicer. And they were marked off 40%. So I got it in white. And then I got it in just black. And I got it in pink. And um, I did that for Vegas. And I got him a oh, I just put the, <laughs> I'm taking him upstairs. I just put the hand towel in there. Um, and I got him a size smaller. I got him, because I'm right now. Woo, I'm a 2XL, baby, comfortably. I can fit into an XL, but uh, it's a, I'm a little gutted. Everybody keeps on asking me to have Alex talk about what diet he went on. Okay, so Alex went, did Optivia. And uh, let me see if I have some, he has some of the food in here. I think he does. He isn't really doing the food anymore, but I'll show you. So, um, it's, like this is creamy tomato bisque, and it's op. O-P-T-A-V-I-A. -A. And Alex is actually a coach for this now because he like completed it and he did it. And he was like, you know, I think I'm gonna, cause you have coaches for it that you call up and like, so, and his was his friend that had lost a bunch of weight. Her husband had lost a bunch of weight and they maintained it too. I mean, it's like a lifestyle change. It's not just, you know, whatever. So these are just like these little packages and then you heat it up with water and he used, I mean, he was dedicated to it. So I haven't ordered my food yet. I said I was going to order my food right after we got back from vacation. It's expensive. It's like $400 for your first month. So I just hadn't. To be honest with you, I just kept on putting it off. Here's a Reese cup that Trisha eats. But I, you know, I just hadn't and I need to. I, there's no excuse. You know, I'm making this mukbang video today and I started watching all of these guys that had done like, there's so many weight loss videos out there and there's this guy named Danny Gets Fit. And I'm gonna link his channel below. He started at 312, lost, um, I think 62 pounds, and that's when he started his channel. He just hit 100,000 subscribers. I watched this three minute transformation video that he did. He, he doesn't even look like the same person. And I started crying in the car. Like, I was like, I have dealt with my weight my entire life, you know? And I'm not gonna, I don't wanna be one of these channels, you know, like, that it says like, oh, I hit this weight and I'm gonna go on a diet tomorrow and then the next day you're like, oh, I weighed myself, I'm six pounds heavier. I don't wanna be that person, you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna be that person. Like, I wanna get this under control. I wanna, I don't know, being, I, I, I try to be inspiring to people. I wanna be inspiring to other people that struggle with, you know, weight issues. And part of what's hard is like, and I think I why I did like mukbang people, because the, especially the ones that talked about weight issues, because I do relate to that. I do relate to saying, I'm gonna start my diet tomorrow and then waking up the next day and being like, screw it, I'll start it tomorrow and I'll eat whatever I wanna eat. I, I do that every day of my life. And I don't wanna do that anymore, you know? Is this corn done? I've never had this corn before. It looks really good though. Someone in the kitchen with Dino. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, tomorrow's the day. And you know what? I just need to order the food and I just need to just get over it 
and say, you know, like, I'm just going to spend the money, and if the food sits there and I waste $400, then I can just kick myself in the ass about it. You know what I mean? And I can be pissed at myself because I'm the one that didn't uh, lose the weight. This is the kind of butter that Trisha used in her video. Okay. So, my meal is completely ready. Look at this. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. What do you think, Pee Pee? He said, I'm gonna miss the mukbang. Bang's dad. I love to eat. I gave you a treat. You didn't want it. You don't want it now. What? No. All right, you guys. So, I will be back um, in just a little while. Bye. I honestly have no idea where this day went. Okay, it is six o'clock. Cannot believe, look at that, six o'clock. And I still have two videos to make. My mukbang eating show ended up being being 30 minutes long. So you guys are gonna help me clean up, okay? Um, because let me tell you what happened. So here's my brand new Canon that I recorded it on, right? The clarity is like unbelievable. But for some reason, I could find the images on my camera, but then they weren't on my memory card. And I was like losing my mind. And I mean, I almost, you guys, like, do you ever? I was, I wouldn't say that I was emotional like I was gonna cry. I was emotional like I was gonna like throw the camera across the room. No, not seriously. But anyway, um, so I was getting so frustrated and I was like trying to look it up and figure it out. I couldn't look. Okay, I just want to say really quick too. These nibble, these Green Giants niblets and corn and butter sauce, which I had never had before, are actually really good. But they say lightly sauced and Trisha Paytas put a bunch of, uh, here they are, I'll show you. She put a bunch of uh, butter on it, as did I. I kind of just wanted to show what they were like. You want to see? You do not need any more butter than those things have. I'm just telling you right now. But, <coughs> piece of butter got wrong area. <laughs> I now have an entire case of this LaCroix water, which is pretty good actually. And it is zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero everything. It's basically a, a big, <laughs> big goose egg zero, boring. Anyway, I'm not a big sparkling water fan, honestly. Um, but anyway, it'll be kind of fun to have. Anyway, 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 I'm gonna move you over here for a second. You know, you're on top of the coffee mugs while I clean stuff up. But, um, so I could not figure out how to fix this camera. I was like so frustrated with it. I was like, I just bought this camera. It should be as simple as just putting a memory card in there. I never had to um, format my memory card um, for the Sony. So I just assumed I didn't have to do the same thing. I mean, kind of in the back of my head was like, do I have to format this? Is that what like the deal is? Is that why this isn't working? Oh. I'll let you guys out. Hold on a second. So I was kind of like, uh, do you hear this? They've been in there literally like 20 minutes. I put that in there right before I started eating. Okay. I'll be right back. Let me take them out. Okay, I'm back. So, y'all were running around like a bunch of crazy people, weren't you? Come here, booby. Come here, booby. Come here, Tucker. Come here. They don't want to be on camera today. They were all running around like a bunch of crazy people out there. In the street and everywhere. So anyway, let me just tell you, after dealing with Sony and their horrible customer service, that will make me probably never buy anything by Sony again. I called Canon. Because finally I was like, I'm just gonna call. So I called Canon. I was literally on the phone with the customer service rep in less than two minutes. No lie. Two minutes. And I was talking to somebody. And uh, 
He was so nice. His name was Kevin from Canon. And um, he was so, I mean, like, with total quickness, was like, okay, very calm, too. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Oh, my God. He had my images up on my computer, downloaded. My card formatted, was explaining to me all these different aspects. I mean, it took me, like, five minutes, and I felt like I knew everything about this camera. So, he was awesome, and I am very happy that I purchased the Canon. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why are you not using your Canon for this? And the answer is... Plastic bag, I forgot. We recycle plastic bags. Look at all of our plastic bags. Do you guys see that? So anyway, we're picking up dog poop and stuff. Yeah! Are we having a good day today? We are? Okay. Who is texting me like crazy? Uh, Alex is asking about the camera. Um, hold on a second, pull them up. Alex was like trying to help me figure it out, but to be really honest with you, sometimes you just don't tell your husband things like this, but... He really doesn't know any more about it than I do. <laughs> That's the truth right there all day long. So, uh, yeah. Oh, my God, you guys. So this, you know that hand sanitizer that I'm obsessed with? This stuff right here that I bought and used in my car. So this is the exact same smell. It's lavender. So now my whole kitchen smells... And it's not like a strong lavender. It's like a really clean lavender. Like almost kind of like a, um, like almost a citrusy lavender. It's really nice. Welcome to my life. So I had coffee with a friend. What did I do? I ran errands. I'm not written at all today. I hate these Formica, Formica countertops. We really want to get, um... Oh shoot, I forgot to put that pan in there. We want to get some uh, new countertops, but... Stuff's expensive, yeah. <laughs> countertops and two new bathrooms. New carpet for the stairs. Stuff is expensive. Well, I'll put this in there when that gets done. And now I'm getting ready to go film my last two videos for the day. There, kitchen is so clean. You guys want to see? Oh my lord, the kitchen counter is so clean. What do y'all think, huh? What do you think? What are you doing, Boo Radley? Boo Radley! He said, I'm just happy I'm gaining some weight, Dad. Hi, Boo Radley. What are you doing? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Say bye, PB. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna go and film. First, I'm gonna take this out to the trash, and then I'm gonna go and film my uh, book two video and my Peter's list video and get those up while my mukbang is r rendering. And get excited about starting my diet tomorrow. <laughs> get so skinny, delicious. Become a weight loss channel. Inspire millions. Get an international modeling contract. Superdaddy.com. You know, living my best life. All right, you guys. I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, I just got done filming all of my videos. I'm getting ready to put my stuff away. And um, I have candles lit. I just talked to Alex. He was over at his mom's house. I'm getting ready to put on a movie. And I have to charge my phone, or my camera, I mean. What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna put this stuff away. I actually filmed two drama videos today. 
Um, did somebody else just text me? Oh no. And it's interesting because I'm usually like really hungry right now. But I just did that mukbang and I had the angel hair pasta and the cord niblets and I'm full. So, I don't know that I would have picked that as my meal tonight, but it's whatever. Okay, these dogs are gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna tell you this because I'm gonna give them uh, some chicken and rice tonight. This is the dog food that I bought them, solid gold. Grain free, gluten free, beef, eggs, and peas recipe, high protein, barking at the moon. It has like 40 grams of protein in it. 41. And the rest is for Drew Radley downstairs. Because he will only eat the hard food from downstairs. Peepee -pee and Tucker will eat it from up here. There you go. You want some water? Um, I wanted to try something. So. Penny was telling me that the three wick candle won't burn. I'm just saying I have to use a smaller candle. So I'm actually gonna try this candle. I think this is the nest candle. Oops. So I'm gonna try that candle and see if it'll smell because it wasn't like smelling very strong. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you, they're gonna go crazy. Um, as soon as I start cooking this chicken because they're gonna be able to smell it. But what I do, and I'm not gonna feed them this every day, but when they've been like having loose stool, these are the old um, noodles and company. I haven't had noodles and company in forever. So I mixed it in there. So I'll show you what I do. It's actually smarter for me to make the chicken first. And I gotta unload these dishes too. So I get this 100% Tyson grilled chicken. I actually didn't make enough of it yesterday and it was like more rice to chicken. Now our vet said this is completely fine to do. She said, now you probably don't wanna do that every day because they need to have some other stuff in there. But she said, if you're feeding them that the hard food and they're eating that as well, she said that's completely fine. So that's per our vet. I know everybody will have 50 opinions and need to tell me. Okay, so it's probably a cup and a half. A minute and a half. Okay. See, PB's already going crazy. Why did I have it turned over that way? And Uncle Ben's rice. So what I do is I mix it up in here and then because the chicken is a little hot when it comes out of the microwave. Um, what? Honey, you're gonna have to wait. I don't um, like to give it to them right away because I don't want to like burn their tongues. So I mix it and then I put it in the refrigerator and then I usually, you know, take them O-U-T-S-I-D-E -S -S -E, and they usually forget about it for a second. My friend Valerie just texted me and she said, I, hey Valerie! We were both gonna go to the casino last night and we both fell asleep. Is it, yeah, well, probably a good idea. She said, I just made myself some angel hair pasta so I could eat with you. <laughs> Great video, aww. Hell, we could have just gone out to eat. Okay. Why is this glass sliding on this table over here? Oh my God, okay, I can smell that candle already. So it's working, it just needed a smaller candle. Or maybe it needed a candle that was closer to the top or something, I don't know. But do you see over there? It's working, I can smell, oh yeah, I can smell it. That was quick. Okay, so do you see it's like steaming hot? 
I would never give that to my dogs. That's not really a lot of ch check in for three dogs, but. It's coming, peeps. Honey, it's hard to be a dog chef. Alex and I are actually gonna get a uh, rice maker. I'm gonna put you okay, guys over here so I can unload the dishwasher. Um, Alex and I have actually been talking about getting a rice cooker so that we can um, make like rice meals for us because he eats a lot of rice. Alex actually will make like balsamic rice and then mix it with um, grilled chicken and have that for a meal. I know, honey. When I was running every day 15 years ago, that was a lot of what I ate every day. I would make rice in a rice uh, cooker with steamed vegetables. And this is so hard to believe this is what I ate every day. One piece of grilled chicken. They used to have these like Tyson grilled chickens that like one, it came in like a two and it was like $3 for the thing. And then I would, uh, I love these plates. My mom used to have, see they're like cabbages. And um, you guys, I apologize for peepees. Poor behavior. But anyway, um, steamed rice, chicken, and then I would make a, um, this is so crazy when I think about this, because then I would go work out. I ate before I worked out, because a lot of people, whoa, a lot of people recommend that actually. No, what I would do is I would go run, and then I would come home, and I would make steamed rice, or uh, rice, steamed vegetables, grilled chicken, a peanut butter sandwich, just peanut butter and a white on um, white bread, and then I would have a huge glass of milk, and um, oh, I know, honey, it's coming. Mix it together for you. Hold on. Guys. And then I would. Uh, Oh, shoot, I almost shut the door on you guys. <laughs> and then, because I can't get in here and do both. And then I would um, go lift weights. That was when I was really. Okay, can I just tell you something that Alex and I go back and forth about? This drives me nuts. Alex puts the bowls like this, and I think the bowls should go like this. So I turn them around. And then when he unloads the dishwasher, he will put them the other way the next time. Um, where's my bowl? Okay. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, that chicken's still really hot. Whoo, peepee. -pee. Chicken is so hot. Rice is so hot. They literally will gobble this right up, especially Boo Radley. I know. You know what? I'm gonna make a little bit more chicken. Hold on. So anyway, and then I would go lift weights, which is so crazy to me that I used to do that, you know? I'm at the bottom of this bag, so screw it. Just put it all in there, right, peeps? No, 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 that's frozen chicken. That won't be good for you. Okay. Oh, I didn't even look to see how long that was supposed to go in. It's like so much less. It's like a minute and a half. Hold on, honey. Oh. Well, they can't have it for the next couple days anyway because we're out of it now. Yeah, I'm gonna finish cooking this and then we're gonna go outside, okay? Mm hmm. And then I would go work out. And now I would work out like four or five, I would lift weights like four or five times a week. I wonder if I have a picture in here of how I looked back then. I'm sure I do somewhere. Do you guys wanna see? I, at the time, was between 160 and 165. Just to put it in perspective, I'm too. 42.4. This is 
2002. You see it? I oh, know. I mean, look at all these old pictures of you, Pee Pee. Pee Pee in his hat. He says, Sometimes I like to be the sheriff. <gasps> look at Pee Pee when Alex first got him. Wasn't he so sweet? Oh my lord, Pee Pee. That's you. Here's me back in the day. I'm going to get back to that, but I'm going to have white hair and a beard. Okay, excuse me. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen and no. Oh, oh, oh. Pee pee. Oh my lord. This looks so good, pee pee. He doesn't even know what that means. People are like, you're so mean. He doesn't know what that means. Come on now. I could be saying. The Wizard of Oz is the greatest movie you've ever seen in your entire life. Don't you agree, PP? This is so good. Oh, I'm gonna sleep the thing off. Okay. So I put it in the freezer then. I put it in the freezer for like, um, leave this out. I put it in the freezer for like five minutes. I put it in the refrigerator for like five minutes and then it's usually ready to go. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. In case we need to save it for later. All right, you guys, I, I vlogged for 12 minutes. Okay. Oh, do you want to see the new deck? Okay, the new deck is done. We cannot go out on it yet, but here's the new deck color. Can you even really see it? There it is. Can you see it here? Hold on a second. I can't walk out on it and they'll go crazy, but. Hey, get back, you guys, come on. Do you see next, nope, no. Do you see next to, I have my hand out, next to our other one, that's what it looks like. It's pretty good. So, that's the excitement. All right, you guys, I will be back in just a little while. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Can we just talk about how cute Tucker is? Hi, honey. Hi. Yeah. How are you, honey? He says, I'm good, Dad. And then there's Boo Radley. Yeah. So, uh, Alex, I just texted Alex, and he is still... <clears throat> Pee Pee was laying on his little bed there. Um, he is still at his mom's house. And, uh, I'm gonna get out of this movie. What movie do I want to start? What a movie on in the background. Scary movies. And they are sitting there. His brother just came over, his brother Carlos. And so he is um, going to come home after that. He said like a half an hour, which I don't really care. I'm like, oh, it is on. Um, and I actually think I'm going to go for a swim. And then I am going to do a live stream. I put Medea's uh, Halloween on because I love this movie. It's funny. I think Bella Thorne is in it. <laughs> can I just tell you that I have, this is now my second can of this LaCroix and I'm kind of addicted to it. So, I'm going to go upstairs and put my bathing suit on. Come on, guys. Let's go see what Pee Pee is doing. Mr. Pee Pee, and how are you today? The mice are in the kitchen and they want to see you play. Watch this. Okay, guys, go. But Pee Pee, we have to lift up onto the bed. There you go, peeps. Our bed is so messy. I stopped fighting that fight a long time ago. I used to love to have the bed made like it was straight out of a hotel. But Alex does not love that, so. Here's my bathing suit I was telling you guys about last night. Is it a Speedo? No? What brand is it? Laguna. <laughs> look at it. See, doesn't it look like a... I think it looks like a, uh, what do you call it? Where can I put my camera? I 
I think that it looks like, <clears throat> here, let me get down here. Get down on it. I think that it looks like a lifeguard's bathing suit. Okay. How you gonna do, 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 do if you wanna dance? Feel the beat. All right. These are my little cute Izod shorts that I got at Costco that I love. How are we doing, boys? Look at the boys. What are we doing, boys? PP said, well, I'm waiting for my dad on my dad's side. Boo Radley said, I thought we were having a game. What are you doing? Tucker said, well, are we having beauty night? Are we doing beauty nights? Uh, whoo. It has been a day. Our lights kept on going out because every, this was my paranormal investigation light. Every time we, um, look at this, so cute. Tucker always sleeps on his dad's pillows. <laughs> um, every time we would flip the light bulb in the closet, the, all the electricity up here would go out. And we couldn't figure out why. And then Alex is so smart because he's so technological that he was like, uh, it's because the light bulb that we have, the wattage is like too high for the, the thing in there. Because we had to go downstairs and keep on flipping, you know, the thing. So, yeah. Come here, boob. He really doesn't like to be on camera. Oh. Do you? How you doing? Oh. <laughs> what is it, boob? Come here. What? <gasps> Say hello. Come here. <laughs> he says no, I don't feel like being on camera. Come here. You come over here. What are you doing? Isn't he so cute? What are you doing, boobs? Hmm? Oh, thank you for the kisses. Yeah. Look at little boobs. What are you doing, boobs? Huh? He said, well, I'm my own person. Don't even worry about it. You haven't talked to us in a long time, boob. He said, well, <laughs> boob, you can't. <laughs> Look at our picture. That's us, our mar one of our wedding pictures. Boob, you going to talk to us? Boob, you going to talk to us? What are you going to say, huh? Tucker's like, uh, nobody asked me what I think. PP, you wanna talk? He said no, I just wanna lay here and rest. Booby, come here. Come here, honey. <sighs> what is it? Look at his little hair, how messed up it is. He and I have the same hair, dude. <laughs> Boob. Hi, honey. Now, tell us about your world. He said, I don't know about them people. He said, tell those people, leave me alone. Yeah. He loves to get scratched on his back. You should see his face right now. <laughs> Mr. Jealous over there. What is it? Pe Boo Radley, look at all those people. I almost called you Pee Pee. Look at all those people over there. He said, I don't care about those people. Tell us about your next vacation that you're going on. He goes, well, I think I might go to Fiji tonight. You might. Yeah, I think about taking the red eye. The red eye? That's not very comfortable. He goes, well, I fly first class always. You fly first class always? Where do you get all your uh, money from? I have gold coins. Don't even worry about it. I'm my own person. You have gold coins, Boo Radley? Oh, my Lord, I have bags and bags of them. Where did you get them? I'm on my treasure hunt and I do when I go scuba diving in Fiji. You go scuba diving in Fiji? Oh yes, I love to do it. Me and Tucker go all the time. <laughs> what do you see down there? Oh, I see fish and wrecks and all kinds of stuff. Do you ever see any sharks, Boo Radley? Oh no, those sharks, they don't mess with me. They're too scared of me. The sharks are scared of you, Boo Radley? He said, those sharks are so scared of me, Dad. He said, they don't mess with me. Where are you going to go after you go to Fiji? Well, I might go to Bora Bora. <laughs> but I thought Hawaii was your favorite place. 
Well, I like Hawaii. I'm getting kind of bored of it. You can't spend all your time in Hawaii, you know. Where do you stay when you go to uh, Hawaii? Oh, I stay in a tree house. Don't even worry about it. I'm my own person. <laughs> you stay in a tree house? Well, what do you eat all day long? Um, I just eat bananas pretty much and pineapples. Bananas and pineapples, Boo Radley. Yeah, don't even worry about it. I'm my own person. <laughs> I make fruit salad. I'm kind of fruity. <laughs> You're fruity? He said, I'm kind of fruity. I like fruit salads. Where are you going over there? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Get it. Shake it out. He said, I told you I like to dance. Boot scooting boogie. And Boo Radley. Boo Radley. Are you having adventures back there? He said, I'm having adventures. Look at his little hairdo on top. It's so funny. What about you, Tukey? What's going on, Tucker? Oh, I'm having a horrible day, Dad. You're having a horrible day? Summer school is so hard. I'm taking so many classes. Look, he, like, knows the camera is on him. He hates to be videotaped. Okay, Tucker, I won't put that on you. Boo Radley is now laying down. Are you resting? I'm resting up for my trip. I'm going to go on to the red eye tonight. <laughs> okay, Boo Radley. All right, you guys, I'm going to go for a swim before the pool closes because it closes here in about 40 minutes. And uh, I will be back later. Bye. All right. So I am um, just got into my car. Oh, I need gas. I'm like, that's 60 miles. Um, I just got in my car. And so I went swimming. It was so nice up there tonight. It was very similar to last night. There was nobody up there. I went. Up, I got up there about 10, 25, and I swam till about quarter to 11. And then Alex had just gotten home. Or no, so Alex was on his way home. And I went home and um, did a live stream for an hour. Alex got home about a half of an hour into it. He had a really, really bad migraine. So he was like, I was like, do you want me to go on the front porch? And he was like, yes. <laughs> So I went back on, I went on the front porch and I finished my live stream and I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So I was going to stay out there longer than an hour, but I couldn't. On Saturday, I'm going to do a really long live stream. I think I'm going to do like 8 to 11 or 9 to 12. So please come and check it out. Um, uh, the link is below and you just go to younow.com and you can download the app. It's free. And then you, um, or you can get it on your computer, younow.com. And then you, uh, it's so hot in here. And then you um, just search my name. So yeah. Just now I went up and I was like laying, like Alex was asleep, but I was laying with the dogs and I was just kind of like hanging out. And you know, I was thinking to myself like, these things that I say, like, um, you know, I have the most amazing life or, you know, um, I have a life beyond my wildest dreams, and I talk about that. And you know, I was thinking to myself, like this whole concept of live your be living your best life. Like, and I was thinking to myself, I really am like living my best life. You know, I'm so happy in my life right now. Um, I have so much peace and serenity in my life. And it was interesting because somebody thanked me on either this vlog or my Peterisms channel for mentioning serenity. And I commented and I said, you know, there was a period in my life when I didn't even know that serenity was important to me. And that's completely the case, you know. There was very much a period of my life when I was, I think, so in the middle of chaos and toxicity. And because I grew up in an alcoholic home where at times, not always, but at times, there was chaos and toxicity. It was either, it either wavered from being really healthy to being really toxic. And so there was just no consistency. And a lot of times I do better in that wavering, if that in the in-between, if that makes sense. Like, I have in the past. But lately, since I have rid my life of a lot of chaos and toxicity, I have this, like, overwhelming peace and serenity in my life that just is, like, it's magical almost. I don't even know how to explain it, you know? It's like, it's... It feels good. It's almost like a shield, you know? And um, I'm not stay saying that stuff doesn't happen. You know, it does. But it's like, it doesn't have the effect on me that it used to have. And um, it's incredible. But it hasn't been easy. You know, it's been like a lot of work to get to that point. It's been a lot of work, you know? Um, you know, 
know, Tanya and I used to hang out. We had a group of like six or seven people that we used to all hang out together. And we went to meetings together and we, you know, went to dinner together before meetings. We hung out on weekends. Tanya had, you know, uh, barbecues and pitch-ins and we traveled together. We went, you know, every year we rented a cabin in Lake Norris, Tennessee and we went boating and, you know, tubing and stuff and cooked meals together and it was just, it was all of us, you know, and it was so fantastic. And then, you know, one person went back out and then somebody moved and got into like a really unhealthy relationship and then he, he's not in that relationship anymore. But, and then, you know, two other people went back out and it was just like all of a sudden before I knew it, like it was just Tanya and I, you know, we've made some new friends. I mean, I have a lot of friends of mine. I have a lot of friends in recovery, but it was just Tanya and I, you know, and one of the things that was interesting that we noticed was like at first it was really hard because we like missed the activity, you know, the always doing something, the quantity of people, not the quality of people. And, and they were quality people in my life. I mean, these people like saved my life. I mean, if it hadn't been for them being there at certain periods of my life, you know, I, I wouldn't be here today. But there was a lot of like chaos that went along with a group of like six or seven people. You know, there was always, you know, something going on. And as boring as my life is today, I don't have that anymore, you know? I don't have that he said, she said stuff, and you know, I don't deal with that, and I don't deal with, you know, just all of it that goes along with, like, big groups of friends and stuff, and I don't know, like, sometimes when I, like, people are like, oh, like, a bunch of us are going out to dinner and stuff, like, I think that's a little bit where my social anxiety kicks in, not even so much about social anxiety, but just, you know, like, me not really, I'm, like, a little hesitant to, like, get back in, it's, like, easier and safer for me just to kind of stay with my own little, you know, group of me, Tanya, Alex, you know, Melissa, things like that. I value my serenity today. Um, I value my peace of mind that I have, you know? And I'm not saying that there aren't moments that I don't have it, but I hold on to it dearly. I don't just give it away anymore. I feel like I used to give it away, you know? I'd let somebody rattle my bones and you know, rattle my cage. Wasn't that a song? The rat in a cage. Was that by uh, Smashing Pumpkins? I think that was Smashing Pumpkins. Was it Smashing Pumpkins? Rage Against the Machine? Anyway. The yellow light is on. I've been using this camera today too much because I'm still getting used to using my Canon, so I didn't use my Canon to vlog today. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'm going to probably, it's going to probably be kind of like, I'm still getting used to it, you guys, and um, it's probably going to be like a process of me kind of getting to the point where I do that, so. But yeah, I just feel so blessed to be living my best life and, you know, getting to do what I love to do and having like an amazing summer. I was thinking about that today. I was like, I've had such a great summer. It's just been so relaxing and so calm and stuff. So anyway, all right, you guys, I'm going to get off here tonight. I have no idea. I have so much like footage, <laughs> video footage from my vlog that I have no idea like how long I've been talking. So today from the very beginning, so I'm going to get off here and upload this and then listen to my audiobook. All right, you guys, um, I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.